Harper Adams University College was delighted to welcome back Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal. The Princess officially opened a new student halls of residence, toured the University College learning about new developments, and was able to attend a short seminar about precision farming and robotics. I'd like to emphasise that precision farming is a management approach, not a technology, and it applies both to crops and animals. We can reduce the size of management unit, um, which is one way in which we can make it more obviously precise, but perhaps more accurate. And precision farming um, aim is to then make the production process more efficient, which is good for economics, good for environment, good for society. Following the seminar, the Princess was introduced to students and staff from the engineering department who were able to discuss past and present projects and assignments. Well, it's a great honour to welcome Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal back to Harper Adams and we were able to spend the afternoon with her showing her a range of work including things like precision farming, uh, our work in new technologies for renewable energy production. And finally, of course, Her Royal Highness opened up our new Hall of Residence, um, which is going to be called the Princess Royal Hall. I think it's really great because it means that we have that connection with people who are actively engaged in farming, after all, uh, and really understand the sorts of issues that farmers have to deal with. Uh, and on the way round this afternoon, the Princess Royal made a number of comments that were very pertinent to modern farming issues. It gives me great pleasure to formally welcome Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal to Harper Adams this afternoon. As many of you know, Her Royal Highness has undertaken the role of Honorary Fellow here at the University College for many years. And we're extremely grateful, Ma'am, that you have found time to visit us once again to open our new Hall of Residence. Nothing is more important than ensuring that our students have the best facilities in which to live and study during their time with us. We are delighted that in the Sunday Times in its recent university guide placed us third amongst all UK universities for teaching excellence, following the Open University in Cambridge in first and second place respectively, and awarded us first place for our graduate employment with 98.3% of our graduates employed or in further study within six months of graduation. Well, I'm just saying that I'm, I barely recognise this place because every time I come you've built more buildings and move things around. And I hope that now I shall at least recognise the uh, residential area because it's now more or less complete. Um, but it does make a real difference to how you as students enjoy your time here. Uh, but that goes along with the fact that uh, there's an extremely good range uh, of subjects for you to study, a lot of uh, motivation, uh, inspiration, and, and a lot to keep up with. I suspect a lot of people think that colleges like this have, uh, you know, don't change very much. They should come here more often. It changes all the time. <laughs> Today's been a phenomenal experience. We've had um, her Royal Highness here, and um, it was a great privilege to meet her, and it made us feel really proud to be part of our Adams, an event such as this. I'm really honoured that she came while we were still at Harper, and we got quite a major role in, within Harper Adams as wardens, and to be able to show Harper off and say, yeah, yes, this is our Harper, and this is how we were brought up, and how Harper's experienced and how we've enjoyed it, really. She was very keen and enthusiastic to find out what we were doing and that's just where we live, that kind of thing. So it was lovely to have the opportunity to be able to speak to her. And about our courses and really interested in what we're doing.